The depiction of bowls of fruit in still life paintings has been a popular motif for artists over the centuries and is probably more admired than a vase of flowers. Before I paint my modern classic, I'm going to sketch a little pencil drawing up here on this canvas and I have got a very special request from the legendary journalist, presenter and one half, the better half of Mr and Mrs Yorkshire, Sophie Me Lamb Nailing. Hi Dan, do you know how you made this awesome picture for his wedding, which is super special and it's pride of place in his lounge, isn't it? Do you reckon I could commission you to make another one, same size, for our Danny, that represents your papa, yeah. All things takeaway style food, yeah. That would be awesome, you're super talented and we'd so, so appreciate it. Let us know, thank you. Oh, thanks, Sophie and little baby Athena. Oh, isn't she adorable? Right, I'm going to paint my good mate Danny, Mr Yorkshire. I rate my takeaway, still life special. So let's bring you up onto the camera so you can see what I'm going to do. Uh, but before I do, please like the video and subscribe if you've not done so already. Let's fetch you up onto the canvas. Happy days. So I've just loosely sketched onto this canvas a, a takeaway tin. Okay. And uh, I've put various pieces of takeaway bits and pieces in there. We've got spare ribs, pizza, donna kebab meat. We've got a burger there, some fries or chips as we call them in England. And we've got a bit of fish as well, battered fish and some donna meat as well. Um, it might go to plan, it might not. All right. I've, I have dampened the canvas off with a thin layer of water, okay, just to, just to soak it. We're going to be using acrylic paints today. And all I'm going to do is take a brush and I'll just show you... Uh, the paints, though these are Windsor and Newton paints, or Liquitex, I use Liquitex as well. And I'm just going to pick up a bit of that white on a dampened brush and I'm just going to coat the canvas around here and I'm just going to stain the canvas with some white and various colours of blue, okay? Yorkshire has got three main colours, white, yellow and blue, okay? But I don't want to put yellow and blue up here just yet because we'll get green okay but uh i'm just going to stain this camera so let's get a bit of blue so we can see what i'm doing there and we'll have it lighter towards the uh the composition and darker towards the edges just work your way around i'm gonna put a little bit of a tablecloth here i think there so i'm just gonna work my way around just staining the canvas make sure all the little pit holes uh that the canvas is got is all filled up so it looks like i've done a quite a fair bit of work and in a way i i have really i've just put on some uh some pizza some spare ribs this is donna meat we've still got to work on the burger bun top there uh and, and another couple of kebabs at the background i'm not really liking the shape of the the battered fish but um, we'll see how that goes and I've just laid on several different colours. Uh, for the silver tin, I've just put on some silver and I've just darkened it off with a bit of black paint. The great thing about acrylics is when you paint it on, within, what, 10, 15, 20 minutes, it's completely dry. We can put another layer and another layer and another layer. So that's all basically what we're doing. Okay, so I'm just taking a little bit of dark paint on the brush. Just a little bit of dark, okay, on an old brush. And I'm just going to pick out just some, some shadow areas underneath this. Now, again, this silvery work is quite dry. Well, it's very dry. So acrylics just tend to take absolutely no time to dry. Uh, if you know me, I like painting in oils. But before before I painted anything in oils, I, I started off painting with acrylics. And I used to paint lots of, uh, uh, you, you know, the, the typical mountain scene with with the mountain and two fir trees either side, all in acrylic. And, you know, I might actually revisit some of those and do them again. Anyhow, let's let's get back to this. So we're just scrubbing in a little bit of shadowy colour down this side. This is going to be in shadow. It looks like it's floating as well. So we do need to put some shadows down here underneath the, uh, underneath the container. But we'll come more onto that later on. All right, and then obviously we're going to have a nice lip that goes around the the, the takeaway container. And because there's less paint on the brush, we can just literally shade in areas. There we go. 
which is works really well. I think they call this dry br dry bl brush dry brush blending. Okay, where you've got very little paint on the brush, and you basically what they call dry brushing. Yeah, so let's work on this for a little bit, and I'll jump between things as I go along, as I see fit. I'm just using some cad red. Okay, and again, these are acrylic paints. Cad red and maybe just one or two drops of water just to make it flow a little bit nice. I'm using Liquitex paints. Though some I do use, the, the whites I do use a, a lot of, uh, of Windsor and Newton. But I'm just putting some pepperonis on this piece. This is making, um, making me very hungry, this painting. But yeah, just put some pepperonis on top of this pizza there. And then we'll come in with a bit of crimsons and, and dark colours. Just to, to put some maybe some shadow underneath this and some some bits of fat on there as well, you know, some some oils and stuff. I'm sure of it. God, I love pizza. I love kebabs. I love burgers. And, uh, uh, spare ribs. Oh, oh. God, I'm gonna have to go for something to eat in a minute. <laughs> and good old fish and chips as well. Can't miss them out. While we're waiting for the pepperoni to dry, I'm going to take a little bit of permanent light green and I'm just going to put it down here for some lettuce that's just poking out of this burger bun. Just there in front of those chips and that fish curves its way around the, the kebab meat and then around here somewhere. Best thing about this kind of painting, well, it's not the best thing, but, but a good thing about this painting is that if it's a kebab that looks slightly out of place or out of shape, it don't matter, does it? Because, you know, they're, they're not like portraits or anything like that. This is, this, you, you, you would know if an apple looked odd, whereas a kebab or a, a, a battered fish or a chip, you know, or fry, always will look slightly different from one to the other. So I'm just gonna layer in some greens on there just to, to give the indication of some lettuce that's prodding out of this burger just there. We may put the indication of a tomato underneath it. And of course we'll, we'll highlight and shadow some of this when that dries. Uh, we're gonna have some more green up here somewhere. To, we're gonna want like a kebab on a stick with a couple of lumps of meat on and something like that. Anyway, right, so we've got that in place there. I'm just going to hit a bit of I'm just gonna pick up a bit of black okay on that greeny color and I'm just gonna start to shade well the paint's still slightly wet we can put a little bit of shadowy color in underneath this this burger bun there and I'm just hitting and pulling out I'm not really making much of an effort there and then let's just tease it out Cause it's going to be crinkly and wrinkly who knows yeah, like that mm, hungry 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 so i'm just taking some raw humber on this little script brush and i'm just popping that in there these are chunks of beef there we go i'm gonna have a little bit of um what is it called pepper underneath there now i'm going to take a bit of black well that's wet I'm just going to take a bit of black and on the shadowy side, I'm just going to mix in some of that black irregularly, just like that. I don't know if you can pick that up on camera, um, but it's there. And of course, when it dries, we can add a little bit more and a little bit more and a little bit more till we get the, the desired shading effect that we want i'm going to put a bit of black under under here now it looks like that chunk's just floating in air but eventually it'll look all all right we'll have a spike coming out of it or a cocktail stick or something like that and we'll add that down there like so and we'll be okay there like that just wipe off excess on the brush cup a bit of lighter brownie color and on the highlighty side we'll add a bit of highlight color 
and then just work it back, work it back, work it back, like that. These are basically like cubes, you see. Same there. Work it back till it mixes in. Tease it all together, like so. Okay, with a little bit of different colours on this little liner brush, I'm just going to put some sesame seeds on top of this bun. And I'll keep varying the colours. I've got burnt umber, cad yellow, yellow ochre, white, and a bit of raw sienna as well. Just, to, just throw in a little bit of speckled in right up here on top of this. Burger bun. Okay, I'm just using a bit of this silver acrylic paint on top of this rim here. And I'm just going to build up layers of silver now. And I'll add a bit of white to the silver where we've got some highlights. And then obviously we'll put some shadowy work in with a little bit of dark colour. I'll darken it off with a little bit of blue and black. But I'll just get this base colour in first and while it's still pretty much wet we can pick up a little bit of blue and black pick up a little bit of blue and black and just put in some little creases and lines remember this is just a, a, a foil a foil tub full of takeaway goodness god I'm really hungry if I haven't, I've never painted a painting before that's made me hungry. Crazy stuff. There. We'll just put a little darkness up in the corners. I think we have got a bit of a finished composition there. Well, wow, this modern day version of the classic fruit bowl, we've got a takeaway tin, a silver takeaway tin with all the fast food in there, pizzas, spare ribs and burgers, fish and chips and so on. Uh, and it's really making me hungry. Uh, I hope Danny really enjoys his surprise from Sophie and Adida on Christmas Day. It really was an, an enjoyable painting. Took me out of my comfort zone, but that's what we do as artists, isn't it? If you've done something similar to this, please share with me your, your compositions. I'd love to see what you do. If you like the video, please, Give it a big old thumbs up. Leave me a nice big comment. Remember we've got channel memberships and subscribe if you've not done so already. So until next time, take care of yourself. Stay safe. Happy days. I see you.